Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second episode of Character Creator. I am Alex, and today I'll be talking with you all about how I design personas. To start off with, I'm actually going to go over what I'm probably showing you right now, which is the first attempt I had of my owl persona. The idea is doing like a persona or animal persona for some kind of project. And on this first version, I actually made it too detailed and it gave a lot of the extra features for its face, especially like made them really sharp and too detailed. And it looked really odd, like it was kind of scary uh, to me, but I wanted to make it around the a focal point I'll talk about later, which is the mustache and having that kind of feather looking for facial hair. And I'll, I'll post a picture of what I look like for reference. Um, so yeah, I completely started over afterwards. It just looked like a lot of the features were also too boxy and I just didn't like it. And he also looked like a general or like some kind of military figure and I just was like, no, just 100% not me. <laughs> so <laughs> we restarted over. So that's then I wanted to make it more magical or whimsical about it, like less. I felt the, la last, the first one was a lot more in line with a harder feeling like modern or even the future-ish take on it where it was more into sci-fi leaning and moving away from those kinds of shapes also let me think about like how I felt like I would be in a more natural environment than a more just industrial or sci-fi environment well you can you can do some some things that are more like alien a uh, planet like thing for sci-fi like there's ways to do it, go about it but I, I i feel more like rooted i guess in like the more re regular earth stuff and then also when when thinking about myself in these kinds of other other like like fictional ways of thinking about myself i will do more of a magic type user role usually so i was like i'll be like some kind of magic caster person and here's some on my list some other things i guess i pull from when trying to assemble my ideas for this character the first one is um like taking a role-playing like another role-playing game sy systems for um how to get uh like a, an ability score and seeing what you as a person like trying to like think about like what kind of uh, stats you would have in that and where that would apply you in other worlds like what those stats could like um, translate over to um, is a big one for how I kind of do these kinds of, do these pers making personas because I actually do it quite a lot in a lot of my other stuff so before even picking owl or picking my animal I thought about like what kind of stats I would have and usually a lot of people tell like my friends would tell me and I would think so or play uh, high wisdom characters so I would want to do something high like high wisdom and owl is usually associated with wisdom so I was like yeah that works and then also like ah favorite like season I my favorite season's winter and so and so snow owl was actually the first one that actually drew me in out of looking through owl pictures uh, to get a reference for what I wanted to make m my owl character off of. And when uh, thinking about the kinds of clothes that um, you wear, uh, IRL, or in my case, my coat, um, then seeing what kind of attire they wear in whatever setting you're going to make your persona for, and trying to translate what kind of like use or how much it's going to cover up or how revealing it'll be any kind of significance on who made it and what how sturdy the material is and what kind of if it is used in any other kind of like a job or whatever to try to think about how your persona would have a different job how that would feel like for them to wear like a uniform or whatnot so in my persona i mostly for the coat just lowered down the technology of zippers to showing the buttons uh the coat i have in the picture i showed had a zipper and a layer for buttons to also clasp in but you can't see the buttons there's another layer of cloth over them uh, so i wanted to just take that down and just make it to where you could see what is clasping it together and not have to assume anything is going on with it 
So like I was saying at the beginning of this video, uh, one of the main focal points I wanted to give my owl persona was this feather mustache. It's actually one of the things that people notice uh, about me first. Also, I've, over the last couple of years, I've put more work into like curling my mustache, stuff like that. So I thought it would be a nice fit to add to this character. On top of that, taking the idea of the this feather facial hair idea, I tried to do it for his eyebrows, but since owls and other birds don't really have eyebrows, I did it to like a fold or a flare in the where the feathers would go down to the eye um, and curl, like it would curl around or something uh, to give it a bit of that without just adding a feature to a bird that doesn't exist on it. The last bit of design idea for the head was actually just one of the reasons why I picked the owl, or what made sense for the owl, was uh, to keep that rounder silhouette for the head, because as you saw in the picture earlier, I normally wear beanies, especially during the winter, and if not, I'm pretty bald, so it works out in the end, I think. So um, going off of this feather theming I was doing for extra for the features of uh, the character, I actually put that into the other uh, the the only last part that's really shown showing like the skin or feathers for were uh, the hands, which I made all the fingers look like feathers originally, and you'll see in the the time lapse. But after getting some feedback from uh, Otbot, who I will leave in the description. Um, actually changed that up and gave uh, my persona talons, uh, which makes sense. I actually usually have longer fingernails and they're rather thick. So I kept that. And then another part of the reference was actually that the arms were really like puffy uh, for a reference she sent. And so I was like, ah, oh, I could also just puff up his arms a bit and make it look like they're stuffed with feathers. Um, and I thought that looked really fun. Another important design element I had to think of was um, what to do with the neck area because a bird neck is too thick and would look a little weird. Like I think I had that in the first um, attempt I did and it just looked weird. And so I, it would probably be the thinner neck, like a person's neck, but it still would feel a little weird with it probably being more uh, smooth on the sides. I could do some feathers, but again, bordering that line of it looking kind of weird. So instead I put that for that for collar around so I could avoid that weird area also to give it some kind of gradient from feather to coat. It being pointed kind of like feathers but also having the marks to indicate that it is fur to, as part of the coat, um, giving it a, a decent gradient there. So for the rest of the time lapse, I am going to be drawing a third version where we take that finalized second version and kind of clean it up, add some things to it, uh, eventually color it up. And so for the rest of this, I'm not going to be talking, but uh, I will when it's over and show the colored version.
So here uh, we are at the end. I didn't want to do a time lapse for the colors still. I don't know if I'm gonna want to do that in the future or not still. I'm still debating it, but I mostly just picked the colors of the owl and then the colors for my clothes since they're similar articles. The only difference I did was I gave it a steel toe looking band there to try to signify uh, talons in a clothing sense. And then also I added the changes um, for the arms being a little bit more puffy than I had them before and the taloned hands, um, which again, thank you Opbot for the uh, feedback and uh, hopefully everybody goes and checks her out and hopefully everybody likes this little talk on personas and thinking about putting yourself in other uh, settings. All right, bye-bye everybody.